Hi, I'm Mark from Citizen and today we're going to talk about installing and resetting Citizen network cards. Let's identify which printer and network card you have. Our optional network cards have two types of internal connection. One has a smaller black connector and the pins are hidden. The other has a larger rectangular connector with visible pins. The smaller connector version goes into the CLS 400, 6621 and CLE 700 series. The larger connector version goes into the CLS 521, 621 and CLS 700. Firstly, remember to switch off your printer before installing a network card. Then remove the two screws securing the metal cover plate and set them aside. If you're installing one of the cards with the smaller connector, it will slide into the printer with a click. If you're installing a card with the larger connector, firstly you must pull the connection cable out from the printer. The connector on the cable should be carefully aligned with the board using the notch. Once aligned, squeeze the connector home. Carefully fold the cable back in on itself and slide the interface card into the printer. Do not use too much force or you could damage the board. Both types of card simply screw back into the printer using the previously removed screws. Connect a network cable up to the card and switch on the printer. It can take a minute for the printer to register itself on the network. Wait for the printer to connect to the network. You can use the button on the network card to get a self-test and show the IP address allocated to it. The network self-test will show you either an address allocated automatically, called DHCP, or it might be that an address was already set in the card by your reseller, called a static address. If there is no connection or your Wi-Fi details aren't set correctly, you may see these details, including the mention of a zero-conf address. If you have a successful connection, you can access the card via a web browser on a computer connected to the network by entering the IP address without the leading zeros. Sometimes you may want to reset the network card to factory conditions, for example if you're moving it to another printer or to another network. If you have a blue button on your network card, hold the button while switching on the printer. Keep the button held in for about 6 seconds until the LEDs flash alternately and then together. As soon as they flash together, release the blue button and then press again until they flash alternately. The card will now be reset. If the card has the large 40 pin connector and a black button, you can reset it as follows. Connect a LAN cable to the card. Hold in the black button and power on the printer. Keep the black button held in for 30 seconds. The card will reset and it will print out a config print. If your card has the smaller connector and either a black or white button, then ensure the printer is switched on and online. Then press the button until the printer beeps. Release the button and then press and hold until the printer prints a caution label. The card will now reset. In all cases, the card should now be reset. Switch the printer off for five seconds and switch it back on again and wait for it to reconnect to the network. After it's reconnected, you can push the blue button to get a self-test out of the printer. For more information, please visit our website or visit our YouTube channel for more helpful and useful videos.